loosen up any of the material that's on there. We are here in Burlington at Greenmount Cemetery, and today we're going to spend the afternoon with Jason Steffel, who lives right over there. It's important that we just use this hand pump and not a high pressure uh, one. During the pandemic, he started cleaning gravestones. He estimates that he's cleaned over 150, and he's also gotten other community members involved. So I've lived across the street for 16 years, and I can see Ethan Allen from my yard. So, you know, I've always had an interest in the stones and the history that's here. And, you know, just over the years, I've done a lot of volunteer work, cleaning up the trash on the hill. And, you know, I noticed with more people coming with COVID, it was a spot that was safe for people to be outside. It was close by. It was you know, there's beautiful trees and nature here, a lot of history, but you couldn't even read a lot of the stones. It was just a, a dirty stone. You couldn't read names, dates, and so it didn't give you much of a story. And that's the one thing I found it very satisfying. Sometimes when you take just that little layer of dirt off and you can start to read it, it's really like... <laughs> these were cleaned by me, all these ones along here. So basically this whole front section I cleaned. Through work, I'm a, a research engineer. You know, I would come over on my lunch break and you can do it in about Probably half an hour for a smaller stone, 45 minutes for a bigger one, and I pick different projects. You know, when I'm out here cleaning the stones, people take uh, an interest in what I'm doing. They're curious and people often ask me questions about it and ask me if I work here. And We're gonna get a tour and find out why it's so important to care for spaces like this. This is hand done uh, with the urn and then the weeping willow trees. Alexander Catlin Jr. was drowned in Lake Champlain, September 25th, 1800. This was just all black and I couldn't read any of that. What's interesting about the cemetery is there's always, I always learn something new every time I'm here. The pine trees are amazing, cedar trees are amazing. Burlington was very, very rural. Colchester Ave out front here was no more than a footpath through the woods. And this was more associated uh, with the mills on the river and Winooski. And you'll find a number of prominent Winooski residents are actually buried here. And so I dug the top of the stone out. And so this is one I'm looking to repair. You can see it says gone home with the finger pointing straight up, very much like Ethan Allen. The amount of Burlington history that is here is uh, quite staggering. All these UVM presidents, uh, former mayors, uh, founders of the city. There's 118 war veterans. I'll put it down in and push it all the way down and push on it real hard. This uh, Sunday, we're placing down uh, nice metal flag markers for all the veterans in the cemetery. There's 118 of them and we got war specific ones that we're gonna place out. Jason is also part of the Old East End Neighborhood Coalition. They formed about three years ago. Full disclosure, my mom Sophie Quest is also in this group and I live in this neighborhood. It's been great to see them come together and make the place that we live better. High five! <laughs> so mama, why are you in this neighborhood group? We wanted to do things to make this neighborhood quieter and more friendly for all of the people who are walking and biking. There's been problems here on the road since I've lived here and one of them was there didn't used to be a sidewalk in front of the cemetery here all the way up until 2014 and there was cars parked down both sides broken off mirrors all over you know there was no place to cross you're darting across the road and I feel like the safety has gone way up. We got bike lanes installed uh, we got some flashing crosswalks installed and we've been able to get up uh, a really nice mural uh, down at our kind of neglected triangle park that had you know rusting fence that was falling over and stuff. One of the things we did last year was to make benches for Schmanska Park. There's so much going on here that I never knew. I lived in the neighborhood for 30 years. After I retired, I realized I well, should learn a little bit more about this neighborhood. This is you know basically the earliest part of Burlington. It really formed before the downtown area with the, all the mill power. A lot of times when I describe to people where I would live, they would either say South Burlington or Winooski, and I say, well, you we didn't cross over the Winooski River yet, and you know, we would get lumped in with uh, the university, which is not exactly right. The area's had a lot of different names. It was the Falls District, uh, Catlinsburg. Yeah. Some people just called it Ward 1. That was the name it had for a long time. But yeah, there was no real distinct neighborhood identity uh, recently. And so that's one of the ones that uh, came up from some residents that their older relatives called it the East End. Uh, and they used to call it the Old East End Bend is the big bend in the hill right here at the cemetery where you go down the hill. Keep going until you get to that old East End bend. So Mary Lawrence, 1796. Uh, so that's probably the earliest one that I've cleaned. Son and daughter um, dying within five days of each other. Celia horse, and the other one is Delia horse. Uh, there was no good health care in the early 1800s. And so 
the parents losing a child, that was one of their driving goals to start a hospital, which eventually Mary Fletcher was able to do with her parents' money. And you know, that grave there is somewhat of the inspiration or the driving story behind why we have um, the hospital just up the hill there. And the more you know your local history, the more you care about a place. And the more you care about a place, it kind of replicates around to everyone else. And I, I think that's part of the Old East End neighbor success is that because a few people care, it kind of has grown from there. People help in whatever way they feel they can. Some people it's cleaning stones, some people like to do other things. You know, it's just a nice way for people in the community to learn a little history and we get to, to meet our neighbors. interested in learning more about the history of this place, they're always looking for volunteers here. And we will get stuck in Vermont View again real soon. Are you going to show even your Ethan Allen pose? How did that go? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Now you just need a really tall pedestal. Your little uni? Is your little uni kind of like that? Oh, that's a little unicorn. <laughs> oh, kind of like the horse. They're sort of related. It's very small and the horse is really big.